Welcome back to our list of the best games ever made. We've already covered some truly amazing games that have left a lasting impact on the gaming industry, but now it's time to dive into some real masterpieces. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongo. Starting off strong at number 10 is Mole Kart. Yes, you heard that right, not Mario Kart, but Mole Kart. This game is a ripoff of the beloved kart racing game, but not with our favorite Mario characters, but with a bunch of moles. So exciting, and if that's not ridiculous enough, the graphics are so spicy, you will cry with joy. It looks like it was made on a potato, but hey, at least you get to race as a mole, right? Truly epic. At 9 is the Great Kiana Sisters. This game was created in the 80s as a shameless ripoff of the Super Mario Bros, and it shows. From the character design to the music, everything in this game screams, we couldn't come up with anything original. But what makes this game truly special is the fact that it's so good. It's almost bad. It's like watching a train wreck. You know you shouldn't be laughing, but you just can't help yourself. The music is pretty dope though. Flapping in at 8, The Legend of Zelda, Lunk's Awakening. Yes, Lunk, because when you're making a knockoff of one of the greatest games of all time, you might as well just change the name and call it a day. It's like Zelda but with beautiful graphics and a protagonist that looks like a potato. And let's not forget the ridiculous enemies, like your giant flying spaghetti monster. Flapped Bird ripped off this absolutely legendary game and it's still a big turd. Lovely. Lucky 7 brings us to the OG Donkey Kong on Intellivision. Now we all know and love the original Donkey Kong game on the NES, but this version on the Intellivision is something else entirely. The graphics are so special that it's hard to tell what's going on half of the time, and the controls are so challenging that it's a wonder anyone was able to beat it. Do you feel that in your ears? Permanent hearing loss is a beautiful thing. Moving on to number 6 we have Final Combat. This game is Chinese Team Fortress 2 but with superior graphics and even better gameplay. It's like playing paintball but with no actual paint. And let's not forget the extra special AI that makes the enemies easier to kill than a fly. Super high budget and it shows. The smooth 5 FPS frame rate makes me want to empty my stomach. Good times. Digging in at 5 is Castle Miner Z. This game is like Minecraft, but with zombies. And while that might sound like a good thing, trust us, it really is for sure. Instead of building structures and exploring vast worlds, you're confined in a castle trying to fend off hordes of zombies. And let's not forget the lovely graphics that make the game look like it was made in the 90s on Microsoft Paint. The gameplay is so tranquilizing that you'll find yourself nodding after just a few minutes. Best part? Lightsaber mining. Flying in at 4 with Superman 64. This game is like flying through a hoop of fire, but with expert only controls and the best in class graphics. It's like playing the game of the floor's lava, but with no actual lava. And let's not forget the nutty as a fruitcake level design that makes the game nearly impossible to beat, but somehow it's still kind of fun in a souls like kind of way. <laughs> Boil rope bombs you want it it's yours my friend as long as you have enough rubies starting the top three with this true gem zelda the wand of gamelon this game is like zelda but with oscar winning voice acting and graphics that looked like they were drawn by chucky made on the state of the art cdi console from philips it's like watching a very unique cartoon but with extra remarkable gameplay and let's not forget about the ridiculous enemies like a giant frog that looks like it's about to explode what happened <laughs> nothing link we were just about to have a feast great <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Bask in the glory of number two, the town of no name. This game is like an old spaghetti western, but with legendary graphics and masterful voice acting. It's like watching a VHS B movie, but with gameplay that makes you question your life's choices. And let's not forget the extraordinary characters, like the gunslinging skeleton and the talking cactus, a true masterpiece. Mm. My name's not Shane, kid. Here are some honorable mentions. And at 1, E.T. the extraterrestrial on the Atari 2600, the game that almost single handedly caused the video game industry to crash in 1983. It's like someone took a beloved movie and turned it into a pixelated haunted house of horror. So let's play this all time classic and experience loads of fun with these killer graphics. And let's not forget the magical gameplay that will cause your controller to go on a lovely journey out the window, simply awesome. If you now want to never play a video game ever again, like, subscribe and leave a comment. Plus watch this next video too, it will cheer you up a bit.